I've said before, cars are great, but getting one can sometimes be difficult and can definitely be time consuming. So when you get one, keeping it becomes a struggle. Here, I'll give you a few tips and tricks on how to maintain and keep your car as long as possible. Mixing in some common sense tips with some things I've learned through experience. As always, if you like the video, please leave a like and a subscribe. It genuinely helps me a lot. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Wait, why is there a dead zombie sleeping in my car? Let's jump in with the first tip. I've spoken about this in my guide and it's probably one of the best tips you can have with how the current state of the game is. Sometimes when you drive, you'll randomly jump and glitch as so. Your best defense against this is holding the brake or switching the car off. Touch nothing else. Just hold it and wait. More times than not, this can save you. Alternate experiences include immediate death or unintentional flight. Tip two, avoid hiding your cars on the outskirts of the map. When you log off, you're always looking for safe places to store your car, and there are safer places than others which I'll somewhat mention in a moment. But I can't express how many times I just walk around the edge of the map, find them buried crates, parked cars, or even bases. It's not a good move. You're much better off hiding them in deep forests or away from frequently travelled paths. Look, we know if someone spawns on the coast, their goal will likely be to get geared and head inland. Therefore, you can somewhat guess which routes people will be taking and hide your car in the places they're not going to go. It's not an exact science, but there are places where it's less likely to be discovered than others. This is assuming you don't have a base to store it in, which can generally be the best place to keep it. Tip 3. Keep control of your speed at all times. Simple as it sounds, there is a correct speed you should be traveling around the map. You shouldn't really go higher than 30 kilometers per hour unless you're being chased or shot at. This also significantly reduces the frame rate drops and lag, which just improves the overall experience and it gives you way more control and lowers the risk of crashing. Tip four. If you do crash or get shot at and you suffer some sort of cosmetic damage, door, trunk or hood panels specifically, you can repair them using epoxy. A tire repair kit will repair tires unless they're ruined. If they do become ruined, don't remove them from the car. The car will drive reasonably well until you can find a replacement, but if you do remove the wheel, you won't be able to get it back on if it's in a ruined state. Tip 5 if you don't have water to fill a radiator, you'll get a couple of minutes driving by driving the car until the orange engine light comes on. Then, get out and fix it with a pipe wrench. This will restore the engine to pristine, meaning you can keep driving it and doing the same thing until you find a way to fill the radiator up with water. Just make sure you stop as soon as it turns orange. Continuing on will cause the engine to become ruined and you won't be able to repair it. Tip 6. Don't stop looking for parts just because you have a car. Just because you found a car doesn't mean you won't crash it, and handling a car is not always easy so you likely will crash at one point. Make a point of stopping, when safe, at any nearby wrecks to see if you can borrow any parts from it. Just add them to your trunk, that way if you crash, you have spare parts. Tip 7 if you have to leave your car alone, always take a piece of it with you. This is usually the spark plug because it's easy to carry, but hiding another part of it nearby, such as the battery, never hurts either. You trade protection for safety because it takes longer to get going again, but if you want to optimize your time with your car, it's probably worth it. For example, I always keep spark plugs on me because if I find a car, 9 times out of 10, most people only take that piece with them. So if I do encounter one, I can usually drive it away. Tip 8. Try not to park on hills or slopes. Not only can the car slide, but it can be difficult to start back up and take off again, making you an easy target for anyone looking to shoot. Tip 9. If you log off after storing your car somewhere, again, try and keep more than one piece on you when you log off. Because you take everything with you in your inventory when you do log off, they won't be able to find any pieces nearby. Tip 10. Never accelerate when cornering. The wheels cause the car to spin out. You're much better relieving pressure from the acceleration until you're around the corner. And once your car wheels are straight, then accelerate. Tip 11. Don't redline the car. This means revving to the point it makes a screeching noise. Eventually, this will damage the engine and ruin the car entirely. Tip 12. When driving, try and avoid main roads. You can be heard for miles and contrary to my video footage, you should not be using the big main roads with little to no protection on them. Tip 13. You can lock pieces of your car in place so no one else can steal them. Wheels can be locked by a tire iron, engine parts by a screwdriver and doors, hoods and the trunk by a normal wrench. Tip 14. Be careful when driving on the edge of the map. Seriously, if you drive off the edge, you will get stuck. So if you do plan to ignore my tip and leave it on the edge of the map, just be careful where you drive. Tip 
15. And lastly, if you lose your car, it's not the end of the world. I've been there and it sucks. But the thing about DayZ is you'll always find more, so don't worry about losing what you have. Cars are useful, more fragile, and it's a battle to keep them, but sometimes they can be so much fun. But again, if you lose it, that's just part of the game. So it's a trade-off. Uh, I think somebody stole my car. And that's the end of the video. Please leave a like and a subscribe. If you have any questions or better tips, please drop them in the comments for others to read, plus myself. Thanks for watching, and as always, until next time.